Lucas Onlar, and I work in the Leverhulme Center for Human Evolutionary Studies. Uh, it's in the Department of Archaeology and Anthropology here at Cambridge. I got a grant from the URC in 2012, so my project is called In Africa. I work with uh, late human evolution, and I'm interested in the evolution of modern humans and how he modern people became different from each other. So what do we know about when people first evolved? How do we know about the, f the beginnings of differentiation? How do we know how many populations existed in Africa when one left? What happened after they left? Who stayed behind? So the project, which is called In Africa, is about the story of humans in the continent. So we actually have now the largest collection of uh, human fossils for this period in the whole of the continent, which is extraordinary. So what is special about an ERC grant? Well, an obvious side is that it's a lot of money. But I think it's more than just the money. The, the ERC grant, first because it's five years, it allows you to to get a group and build a really a real good community around the project you're doing. It also allows you to explore things in more depth. You know, when you are constrained by both time and money, you cannot afford to take risks. So I think that for me, having the ERC, it was that. Yes, I think risk-taking, which in science nowadays is so is difficult to get funding or something that is slightly risky, um, the potential, it potentiates the research you're doing. But I think that it also allowed the people, not just me, but, you know, the PhD students and the postdocs in the project, allow them the freedom to go their own lines. And so it becomes also a, a stepping point for their career. Uh, so in that sense, it's unique. No other grant has done it.